What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video I'm here reading the Bible. Just wanted to touch on a scripture that's been pouring on my heart lately, especially during the holidays with all the stresses of meeting quotas, getting more cash flow, uh, buying gifts, meeting up with people to socialize and interact with, and all these things that are kind of distracting us from the actual true gift of the holidays, which is Christ, Christ being born in this season as the one a true gift of where our focus should be on which ties into foundations which is what i wanted to share in the book of luke chapter 6 verses 46 to 49 where he teaches about building on solid foundation so it goes like this so why do you keep calling me lord lord when you don't do what i say i will show you what it's like when someone comes to me listens to my teaching and then follows it it is like a person building a house who digs deep and lays the foundation on a solid rock. When the floodwaters rise and breaks against that house, it stands firm because it is built, it is well built. But anyone who hears and doesn't obey is like a person who builds a house right on the ground without a foundation. When the floods sweep down against that house, it will collapse into a heap of ruins. Wanted to tie that in with what's going on in my life, guys, where I'm laying this foundation on sand because I'm trying to meet these quotas, trying to make more cash flow. I'm spending all this money right now and owing this money to the business uh, credit line, and it's stressful. They're not like, you know, $500, it's $4,500 for an event here where we have to sit on it. $1,200 vehicle repair for the business write-offs, but the stress wherein the cash flow for the business isn't coming in, you still have to buy the gifts. You still have to meet up with people and socialize that and get, you know, invest at time into those social circles. And the priorities are being shifted here where I'm focusing on the worldly material things that when I pass, or if the next 10 minutes, the next moment that's never guaranteed happens, I won't be able to take this with me. Or instead of me putting my focus on, on Christ and his word and his promises that he's given us in the, in the Bible, where everything's gonna be okay. He's going to provide, it's, it's there already. He's given us dominion over this world, over the animals, over, over the things we say, the prophecy, like the Holy Spirit is upon us for us to do his will. And that's the thing right there, doing his will instead of our will, where every morning it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's literally a battle. We have to put on the armor of God every single day and make the decision to place him first for him to guide us on our path, to give us the wisdom, to simply give us the discernment on a moment to moment base of wherever we're putting our action, our time to glorify him. And it's very easy to fall into our selfish desires of, Oh, today I'm going to go do this, that, and then we get caught up in this big cycle of keeping up with the Jones, making money, getting this, acquiring that, and we get lost in it and we forget the true meaning of the day to day. And that's to be more like Christ, Christ like characteristics, who we should strive to be on a day to day basis. We should use these resources that we're trying to acquire to serve others instead of trying to serve ourselves, which is easier said than done, something that I also struggle with. But when you place Christ at the, at the head and at the foundation, right, that concrete foundation, we start to see that no matter how much you acquire, the things you get, the people you meet, the status you, you, you're you on, it's never truly fulfilling until you do the will of the Father. I know I'm going on a little bit of a rant, guys. I guess the summary here is just, where's your priorities? Where's the priorities lying? Is it on your selfish desires, your needs to just be at this status that you envision yourself to be, which when you get there, it's never truly fulfilling? Or do you cast your worries and all these stresses of these materialistic things onto the foot of the Father and you do His will and He will provide all these things. He will add these things upon you once you place Him first. And that's what's been the struggle, guys. Um, I just wanted to share that with you. That's been tugging on my heart lately as I'm going, as I'm looking at bills, as I'm going to these parties uh, for the holidays. It's like I'm just trying to rush through the holidays instead of focusing on what the holidays are about. And that's about being present with the ones you love and putting your attention 
on the true gift of the holidays, which is Jesus. It's Christ. I hope that this touched somebody. Let me know in the comments if you guys are struggling with doing your own selfish will or giving it to, to God's will. Let me know because it, it helps. Sometimes I think I'm like the only one going through it, but I know there's other people going through it as well. Just know that as long as we place Christ at the foundation, at the front, the center, he will provide everything else. All Everything else will be added on to us as long as we seek his kingdom first. That's it, guys. Love you. Until the next video, continue to read the book of Luke here. It's really, really good. Until the next video. Peace.